welcome to New World of Workforce, where we examine the latest trends having an impact on the way we earn our money and live our lives. I'm your host today. My name is Parrish Murphy, and you can find us through social media on the Houston Community College District Facebook page and YouTube. We're also on X, and we're on LinkedIn and HCC TV. You can also download an audio version of our shows for your listening pleasure. All you have to do is go to hccs.edu slash podcast. That's hccs.edu slash podcast. Now, follow me for a second. If you've ever installed a video doorbell or bought a webcam to keep an eye on your new puppy or even just ask your smart speaker to play your favorite podcast or your favorite song, you've dipped your toe into the world of smart building technology. Today, we're going to explore how smart buildings can make life richer, easier, and safer. We're joined by Matt Adams, Program Coordinator for HCC's Electrical Technology and Smart Building Technology. Welcome to the show, Matt. Thanks for having me today, Parrish. Absolutely. Now, before I even start all the questions, what's a smart building? Oh, three years ago when my life was much simpler, I I wouldn't have known the answer to that question either. And so um, the president at the time, Dr. Stiki, we got together and we were looking at doing something since we were teaching automation, electrical and HVAC to, to, to go into some aspect of building automation. And that led into this. And this is a whole subsector of technology that when you, when you talk about video doorbells and, and some of those little things like that, you're barely scratching the surface. And that's what I didn't understand initially. And until I got it, I didn't get it. And then all of a sudden I'm like, this world is huge. And, uh, but it's taken me three years to flush it out and a lot of hard work and a lot of phone calls all around the country, but, but a smart building or a smart home, either one, um, it's something to where it also depends on the integration as they call it. And we'll talk about integrators in a minute and, and the integration, but how much smart technology, connected technology do you want? It could be everything from I've got a, a smart thermostat and a ring doorbell, which is great. But one of the problems with those are is they are using their own separate apps. Well, then you can go up to, to more levels to where you can take it all, all the way to where it's more invisible and ambient, like I heard somebody said on a YouTube uh, uh, video soon uh, recently it's the interconnectedness of systems and it can be everything from my comfort, my safety, my environment. So one of the, the, the terms I've coined in this is digital concierge. Cause if you go to a five-star hotel, you've got this concierge and their job is to sit there and make your stay. Awesome. You know, Hey, I need tickets for lion King or I need this or that. And, and they solve all your problems. You just go to this person and they're a fix it person. And that's what's great about this technology is what do I want to solve? I mean, and I'm even, I had a meeting with an integrator last week. My dad lives next door. He's 80 years old. And I brought a friend of mine who who, uh, specializes in senior citizens and trying to help make sure that my dad stays independent in his house. So it just depends on how deep down the rabbit hole you want to go in the technology. So, and that's between you and the people that you work with. To, to determine that. And you can, it just keeps going. Wow. Now tell us about HCC Smart Building Technology degree. So the degree, I, I've been a program coordinator seven years. And, and one of the things is, is I, I've learned how to put together a degree. And the smartest thing that I did was instead of going out to manufacturers and salespeople on us, I said, let's go to the people in the trenches, the people that do this work. And they were hard to find because number one, Department of Labor doesn't even acknowledge this industry exists. So that was really a hard thing to even flush out there. But then it's also an amalgamation. It's made up of mechanical people, electrical people, electronics people, and uh, networking. And, And they're all come together with all these different skills to bring integrated technologies to life. Um, it's the degree plan we're going to have. It's going to represent all those things because uh, there's two main groups. There's the audiovisual crowd, and then there's the security and fire crowd, and then there's other stuff. But we're going to be teaching networking and 
and audio visual, how to do a rack build and how to do uh, some next level audio visual stuff. I mean, all the way up into concerts and movie theaters and things like that. Uh, you've got lighting and lighting controls. You actually have uh, lighting, which takes about 15, probably 10 to 15% of your power bill in your house every month. And there's new technology. Because one of the things we're ch chasing with solar uh, and, and battery technology is this power generation, power storage. We're also changing and trying to chase how we use power. So we're seeing lighting come on in a whole new way. Security systems, you know, everything from badge entry to monitoring our homes to keep us safe and so much more there. Fire. Then you've got retail and grocery store automation. Uh, when I talked to Walmart, this was really neat. And I had to look this number up. They told me that every 10 seconds, they're drawing data off their, their milk coolers and stuff to, to see how many people go in and things like this. Uh, and they said they're pulling petabytes. And, and just to give you a perspective of that, that's three decimal places bigger than trillion, which I don't even know what that number is. It's big. But there's all this stuff going on behind the scenes to make our 21st century life function, function more efficiently. And the technology came out of industrial and it scaled down to where now we're able to enjoy it residentially and commercially. So that's part of where this comes from. So students will get in, they will learn all these different things and so much more, and they will get out and they will be able to get a job. Industry is so waiting for these students to graduate. In fact, I've already gotten four students jobs that we haven't even launched. They're wow. so desperately in need of these people. But the main thing they're really in need of is people with a security license in the state of Texas. And that, because if you, if you try and put up a camera, like even a ring doorbell, Without a security license, that's two years in jail. And so they're 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 governed by the Department of Public Safety. So with that, they need people that can do this type of work. It, it it's it's like I say, it's a mix of mechanical and it's technological and networking. And it's that's a weird blend of people. Wow. But there, there's a rich future for these these young people and old people that want to go into this. That's amazing. And they and it's with and that's even funny, the Department of Labor doesn't even have a code for it. That that's nope. that blows my mind. That's crazy. That means you're really, really ahead. So uh, the term integrator, you've used it a couple of times. It keeps popping up. What exactly is that? So an integrator is, is basically a low voltage technician. It sounds like a fancy word, but it's just a person that connects more than one thing together. Because ultimately, what does an integrator want to do? They don't want to just put one device in here and one device there. They want to bring devices together to work in harmony to make your life simple. Whether it's a conference room at school that we might use, the, the, the projection system and the projector and the lighting and the shades and all these things have to work in, in, in harmony. In fact, the coolest thing early on when I was working on this degree plan, I went to a, a manufacturing company down here named Crestron. And the lady that worked there, she said, watch this. And it was the coolest thing in the world. She pressed one button and everything changed. Shades started going down. The temperature started dropping. The light changed. I mean, the TV came on. All these things off of one button. And she completely changed the environment in this room with one button. And that's the kind of thing these people are doing. Now, the one button is easy to push. It's what goes on behind the one button where all the work is done. And so that's that's these people. They're figuring out how to do all of this. Now, what's interesting is years ago when this industry first started, they said there wasn't the technology like we have now. So it took a lot to get it done. Now we've got all this technology that makes this a lot simpler, but then also complicated at the same time. There's some programming to do and things like that. But that's what integrators are. They are they are an interesting group of people. And mm -hmm. In fact, when I went to their convention in Denver, um, this uh, I've been twice now, but the first year, it was it was like, wow, I didn't realize this whole thing was that big. And here's all this technology. And it was it was bizarre and cool at the same time. That is great. I'm so, glad we're a part of it. His name is Matt Adams. He is program coordinator for HCC's Electrical Technology and Smart Building Technology. Matt, we're out of time. Thank you so much for being on the show and thank you for all the valuable information. Thanks for having me. And of course, we're going to take a short break and then we're going to talk to one of the current leaders in the industry. Stay tuned. At 
HCC, your dreams are within reach. When I grow up, I want to work at the hospital. When I grow up, I want to work in a lab to build robots. When I grow up, I want to work at a school and be a teacher. From classroom to career, we're with you every step. Register for real-world education at hccs.edu. Welcome back to New World Workforce. Now, today we're exploring smart building technology. Matt Adams just told us a bit about Cedia, and we're now joined by Amanda Wildman. And Amanda is vice chairperson of Cedia. How are you doing today, Amanda? Welcome to the show. Thanks for thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Parrish. I am so excited about what it is that you guys are doing. And so I am exceptionally honored to be asked to kind of talk about what it is that I do every day. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. Uh, when Matt found out that I was talking to you, he said, oh, great. I'm talking. You're going to talk to a rock star. I was like, Okay. No pressure. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no pressure. Thanks. You know? yeah. <laughs> so, now I asked him what basically a smart building was, and mm -hmm. uh, I didn't ask him what the dumb buildings were, but uh, I wanted to know, uh, we talked a little bit about Cedia, and yep. uh, I wanted to find out a little bit more about you first. Um, sure. So tell me a little bit about your professional background and your work as an integrator. Sure. So yeah, that's a big word, right? My profession is an integrator. And as Matt said earlier, we're not yet recognized by the United States government with a job co a job title. I don't know if that's code. a good thing or a bad thing, Amanda. Yeah, yeah I don't <laughs> know either. What happened to the internet? The internet beat the government. You know? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. But basically what we do is I always tell everyone I'm kind of like your technology GC or general contractor on your building site, whether it's a residential or commercial. And as we're seeing more and more technologies come out, you, you can't go anywhere and find any device that doesn't want to try to connect to the internet, whether it's a refrigerator, a dishwasher, a microwave, a TV, you know, obviously computers, you know, everything like that, iPads. What I do is I look at all of those devices that are going to go either into a home or a commercial space. And I say, all these devices that want to connect to the internet, how do I make them play well together? And that's where the integrator part came, right? We take those devices and instead of them just being boxes and parts and pieces or appliances, we make them play well together. We make them work together. And the ultimate goal of any of those things working together should be working together to make your life better. And for every single person, that can mean something a little bit different. So whether you are a young adult and you want to constantly be connected to your music, like my kids, they're always on their Spotify. They go nowhere without their music. They have to have easy access to that. And they want to do some cool things in their room with like lights and different colors and, and things like that. Well, an integrator can help you take those devices and make them play well together so that your kid has a really cool space, whether it be for gaming or for music or for ambiance, right? But then you grow up and you start having kids and now you start thinking more about safety. And what does that mean? Like if my kid goes to leave the house, how do I know that my kids walked out the door or, you know, that they're safe within their home? There's different technologies and different devices that we can do to help people to keep their kids safe. And then you start having what we, I always grew up with like the latchkey kids, right? So mom and dad both work away from home. How do you know that your kid arrived home from school after school on time? They got off the bus, but did they arrive home? Well, we can set up different things like security and cameras or sensors or things like that to let a parent know that their child's arrived home safe. So maybe they can quick take a break, check in with their kids, see how their day was. And then even as you're older, you start traveling more. And when you start traveling more, how do you know that your home is secure and safe when you're away from your home? How do you know if something happens to your home while you're gone, whether it be water damage or, you know, fire damage or a break in or things like that. So you kind of shift a little bit more to home security. And then, of course, as Matt said, when you have an elderly parent, how do you allow them to stay within their living space comfortably, safely and securely as long as possible? I know nobody says, sits there and says, yeah, I want to go into a nursing home. 
or, you know, I want to move someplace else from a, a home that I've had my whole life. So how can we use technology perhaps to prolong that time that you can have within your space? That is all questions that an integrator asks. And that's why this job and career is such an interesting place to be because every day is a little bit different depending on who your clients are, what kind of home they have, what season of life they are, what the expectation is. And so we need young people that are excited and creative and love using technology to be able to create these cool spaces for those kids and for those families. Great. Can you make Mac like PC? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's one of the first questions that an integrator will ask. They'll ask a homeowner, like, are you a Mac family? Are you an, you know, iOS or are you an Android family? And those are part of things that happen during the discovery. And so we have to be really well versed on both technologies and we have to know where the overlap happens. How do those things play well together? Where are some catches that they aren't going to play well together? And ultimately, yes, it's great if you can have a button push, but take it one step further. Imagine if your home already knew where you were within the home, who was in the home, and what they like in the home. And that's what it should be. It should start automating your life and making your life easier with technology, which is such a cool thing to get to do every day. That's great. So implement your expect technology. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So what can our smart building technology graduates expect when they get out into the field? Because this sound, this is obviously a brand new technology. And what, so will there be a plethora of jobs? I mean, what do they have to look forward to in the field? Yeah, absolutely. So first I, I have to let you know, when you had mentioned earlier about whether you're young or whether you're old, I feel like I got into this industry kind of when I was older. Um, I just told you I have kids that have just graduated um, from high school and I got into it not that long ago. I got into it probably about 10 plus years ago um, now, but you can do it at any kind of like stage in your life. The other thing that's interesting about me is I'm a female technician out in the industry. So I actually, even though I own my own business, I spend about 60% of my time actually out in the field physically doing the labor and doing the work as well. Uh, because even though I love owning a business, I found that I did not want to be at a desk every single day, all the time bogged down with paperwork. I love the discovery. I love the challenges. And I love the like physical part of making things work. Uh, it's really great career and job for people that maybe don't like want to sit still or sit at a desk at school all day long. They want to kind of be creative, think about things, you know, in a different type of way. This is a really great opportunity because no two days are going to look alike. Some days it's wiring, some days it's programming, some days it's discovery with a client. And depending on how large of a firm you go to or a company that you go to, you might only wear one hat. You might just be kind of like the wire puller, the laborer or whatever, or maybe you are like me, a business owner, and you wear a lot of different hats. So you get to talk to the clients and do the hands-on and do the programming and then run the business. So it really kind of depends on what it is that you want to do. But especially in Texas, but really all over the world, there are integrators that are looking to hire and employ people. And that's where CEDIA, the association that I'm part of, our entire mission statement is to connect, empower, and champion smart home professionals to build and enrich our lives at home. That is absolutely and, awesome. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Amanda, we no got worries. about 20 seconds, but I want to get one yeah. more question in. What is the outlook in this industry like for women in the field? Uh, for women in the field, it's huge, huge high demand. Um, I, of course, am biased, but we, when you start talking about lighting and things like that and how women use the home and use the space within the home, we we just look at things differently. And so I think if you're an integrator and you don't have a female on your team, you're really doing your clients a disservice because the clients out there generally have men and women within the home. And so having a female on your team is really, really important because they can lend their perspective. And um, there's huge, huge opportunity. Like any woman out there who's interested, connect with me on Facebook, connect with me on LinkedIn, there's a whole host of people that are like begging and waiting to like hire you and bring you on. Nothing like a woman's touch. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Her name is Amanda Wildman and she is a vice chairperson of Cedia. Thank you so much for your time, Amanda. And thank you for all the stuff that you're doing. We're really looking forward to this program being really big for HCC. 
Of course. And I'm super excited for all of your students and I wish them all the best of luck and have a great time. I know that you're going to love this career. It's a great opportunity. Thanks again, Amanda. We're going to take a short break and then we'll learn how to get started in this rapidly expanding field. At HCC, your dreams are within reach. When I grow up, I want to work at the hospital. When I grow up, I want to work in a lab to build robots. When I grow up, I want to work at a school and be a teacher. From classroom to career, we're with you every step. Register for real-world education at hccs.edu. Welcome back to New World Workforce. We're looking at smart building technology. Now, if you're interested in making a career in this industry, we're joined by a guest that can help you make it a reality. Brian Candido is Director of Strategic Partnerships and Workforce Development at Capital Idea Houston. Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Parrish. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Let me just jump in right quick and just tell us the mission of Capital Idea. For sure. Thanks, Parrish. Um, super passionate about what we do at Capital Idea Houston. Our mission really is to invest in underemployed adults by funding educational pathways um, so that they attain thriving careers. Um, we act as a bridge connecting committed adults to um, to become skilled workers and, and connecting them to industry. Um, really, we do this by supporting participants in a variety of wraparound services um, and, and making sure that they complete training in a timely manner and, and that they train in high demand fields, earning a livable wage. Now, Brian, you guys have had a history with HCC. Tell me a little bit about that. For sure, a strong partnership with Houston Community College goes back 13 years, um, particularly with the Coleman campus. We actually graduated our 200th graduate from Coleman in 2022. Oh, wow. um, and, and HCC is also home to two of our of our larger apprentice programs with Aon and Harris Health Systems here in Houston. Wow, that is great. Now, what initiatives do you have at HCC right now, and how is that developing? the Smart Business Technology Program? So one of the largest um, and one of the, the most exciting initiatives that we have with HCC right now is um, a recent award of $2 million from the Department of Labor for a Pathways to Infrastructure grant. Um, and this is actually gonna pay for training for 425 participants over the next five years and in, in six different programs, including Smart Building Technology. That's great. Brian, what kind of money can you make doing this? I, I think it's such a new field. It's super innovative and the possibilities are really endless as we heard from Matt and, and other employer partners. Good, because I mean, that's one of the main things, you know, one of the things I love about Houston Community College is they have such good partnerships with people, you know, that are very interested in hiring their developed kids. And I was just wondering, you know, you use what you use what's called worker voice strategy. Now, what is that and what does that mean? Yeah, the, the worker voice strategy is really a, a critical portion of, of understanding equitable and inclusive worker success. Um, so what we do under this strategy is really survey the workers and, and really understand what their needs are and how they can be applied to, to um, the demand of, of the current workforce. Um, so th this really kind of guides us in, in how we learn and, and how we create um, quality training programs that are going to meet the needs of, of industry partners. That's great. Now, what other programs do you offer and how can people be a part of that and get started? Yeah. Um, so Capital Idea Houston, we, we currently offer over 15 sponsored career programs. You can visit capitalideahouston.org and see a full list. Um, in addition to the signature program, that, that fully funds participants' tuition, fees, books for associate degrees um, with no loans or paybacks required, required. We also offer a Career My Way program for adults ages 18 to 24. Um, and we also offer a variety of short-term training programs that, that can be fast and effective ways to gain knowledge and, and skills for today's job market. 
Um, the best thing to do to get involved with Capital Idea, visit capitalideahouston.org. There's an interest form at the top of the website you can fill out. And we also have three upcoming um, information sessions. Some of them are, are through Zoom on June 25th, June 27th, and the 28th. And then there's one on Saturday, June 29th at um, the Houston Community College Southeast Campus. Feel free to register at capitalideahouston.org. That is great. Now, as far as what you guys do at Capital Idea, can you give me a little bit of insight as far as uh, some of the other things that you guys do? Definitely. A, a big piece of what we do is, is um, finding participants with, with the aptitude and attitude to, to go into training programs. And then we support them through our career navigator who offers one-on-one -on -one support um, and, and make sure that our, our participants are, are not only getting through their training program, but being successful outside of the classroom and in their careers. That is great. And can you give me that website information one more time for anyone interested? For sure, Paris. I, I hope people are interested. It's capitalideahouston.org. Great. And we hope that you guys have another 13 years and another 26 years with HCC. That is really great. Now, what made you guys partner with HCC? I, I think a big a big part of the partnership is just the, the quality of programs and the diversity of programs with HCC. They've definitely been a strong training partner for us, and, and we look forward to continuing that partnership in a variety of, of, of different areas. That is great. The one thing I like about HCC is they have a lot of recession-proof stuff, and I hope that uh, I hope the stuff that you guys do at Capital One is just as recession-proof as a lot of the other stuff that we have. Brian, thank you so much for being on the show. We really appreciate it. And thank you for all the great information and all you and all the other good people at Capital Idea for all the partnerships that you do with HCC and all the great work that you do. Thank you so much. Thanks, Parrish. Absolutely. And I would like to take time to thank the other guests that we had here today and for making us smarter on our smart home technology. If you'd like more information on the people and organizations featured today, check the post on our social media sites and on YouTube. To download a copy of our audio podcast version of the show, visit hccs.edu slash podcast. Once again, that's hccs.edu slash podcast. For everyone here at HCC TV, I'm Parrish Murphy. Thank you for joining us on New World Workforce.